have written my stories, they are made into a book. It is printed in lots and lots of copies, so that you can buy one for yourself, or get it in a library. Rosie and Jim wanted to try doing their own printing, so I wrote a story about Rosie and Jim's printing day. Rosie and Jim loved playing with things on my table. There were lots of pens and piles of paper, and they loved to draw pictures and patterns. I often came back and found their pictures. Hmm, I would say. I must have been scribbling whilst I was thinking about a story, but I don't remember drawing that. One day they found something else to play with. It had tiny rubber letters on it. What's this? said Jim. I don't know, said Rosie. They watched me to see what I did with it. I pressed it on a little cushion, then pressed it on some paper. It's made a picture, said Jim. Words, said Rosie. Magic, said Jim. When I went out, they had a go. Jim made the magic words appear on the paper. Then Rosie pressed her hand on the little cushion. Oh, noggin, she said, it's all messy. She pressed her hand on a piece of paper. Look, said Jim, it's made a picture of your hand. Oh, fizzy, said Rosie. Let me try, said Jim. Soon there were hand pictures all over the boat. They drew legs and noses on the hand shapes and turned them into elephants and giraffes and mice. They scampered and ran all over my paper. When I came back, Rosie and Jim sat very still on their seat and hid their inky hands. Someone's been playing at printing, I said. I like their animals. I think some children must have been here to read my books. That reminds me, I must pop in at the printers to see my new book being printed. I went out to cast off. Duck quacked, and Rosie said, Did you hear that, Jim? He called it printing. Yes, Rosie, that's what we were doing, said Jim. And they make John's books like that. Not squishing their hands on a messy cushion, noggin, said Rosie. Little words, said Jim. Inky words, said Rosie, lots of them. When the boat stopped, they followed me to the printers. Look, said Rosie. John's words are on a big roller, said Jim. Whizzing round, said Rosie. And pictures, said Jim. All coloured, said Rosie. Magic, said Jim. Where's the inky cushion, said Rosie. It's an inky rolling pin, said Jim, going whizzy-fizzy. The words and pictures came out of the printing machine on big sheets of paper. There was a huge pile of them. They saw the paper being folded up and glued to make books. What a lot of books, said Jim, for all the children, said Rosie. I brought some copies of my new book back to the boat. I still like these handprints, I said. Thank you, whoever made them. And I pinned them to the wall by my table. Rosie and Jim sat very still on their seat and smiled, and when I had gone to bed, they read my new book.